woman who nearly died in a crash with a St. John's County deputy is sharing her story. She's waiting for state lawmakers to approve a compensation deal for her life altering injuries. Action News Jackson Gutierrez joins us live in studio. Annette, this accident has completely changed her life. Yes, things we probably take for granted are things that require a lot of effort for her, like brushing her teeth. Julia Perez, or as she likes to call herself, Jenny, was adventurous, always exploring the, the outdoors as you see here. But after her accident in 2019, her life took a complete 180 turn. She spent three months in the hospital on a ventilator and a feeding tube and has since had dozens of surgeries, and now she needs help. Jenny Perez went from zip lining and water skiing to having to relearn how to walk and talk. I'm in pain all the time. Every movement, you know, I have to be calculating everything. So I don't think it's fair, but I need to keep calm because I don't want to cry. April 7th, 2019, Perez's life changed forever. That day, she and her fiance, Tom Island, were on their way home in St. Augustine on their motorcycles when a St. John's County deputy hit them. FHP says the deputy was at fault. Almost every, every medical professional that I spoke with um, was quite frankly shocked when I told them uh, that she had lived. Her lawyer, Joel Harris, says it's a miracle she's alive. She has a piece of metal in almost every part of her body except her head and spine. And since she can't work, she has mounting medical bills. Her 82-year-old mom, whom she lives with, helps her when she can. She says she had to file a lawsuit to get compensation and accountability. Because then I will have food, a roof, and a better life, secure life that I don't have right now. After nearly five years, the litigation reached a settlement agreement. A few weeks ago, the St. John's County Board of County Commission voted unanimously to authorize up to $6.3 million to support the St. John's County Sheriff's Office's settlement. And that passes 5-0. Elected officials uh, in St. John's County uh, worked to get this done and agreed to it um, because it really is in the interest of St. John's County. Um, but in the same token, they're taking care of one of their own. You know, and that's Miss Perez here. Now, both parties signed off on this settlement agreement, and Florida says Florida law says state legislature must approve any settlement involving a local government over two hundred thousand dollars. Lawmakers will discuss it starting January twelfth at the start of the legislative session. For local coverage, you can count on reporting live in studio. Annette Gutierrez, Action News Jack.